Hello, you're welcome. Today we are going to look at a question on um, vectors. And the question um, read ABC is a triangle such that AM is such that MB is equal to 3 to 1 and BE is such that BC is equal to 2 to 5. D is the midpoint of AD and DC and MC intersects at X. AB is equal to vector A and AC is equal to 2 vector B. Now, let me emphasize on this point where it says D is the midpoint of AD and DC. Alright? Now, this simply means that AC is cut into half. This one, AC is cut into half. That is the meaning of who? the midpoint, meaning D stands in between A and C. If D stands in between A and C, then it simply means that the distance from A to D is vector B. And the distance also from D to C is vector B. When they are added together, that's when we get to vector B. Now, this is the question that we are going to be uh, discussing today. And the first question says, express the following in terms of A and or B. This simply means that it's either A is going to be part of the answer or B or both. So the first part of uh, the question says the distance from M to C or find MC and the other part says find B, C. Now, when it says find M, C, it simply means you have to move from M to C. Alright? You start from the point where we have M. Whichever direction you are going to use, provided you have the information, you will find the answer. And the other part of the question, which is part B, says given that mx is equal to h mc show that dx is equal to 3 over 4 open bracket 1 minus h close bracket vector a plus open bracket h minus 1 close bracket vector a so what we are going to do is for us to find the first question which is mc we need to collect some information. So we have to move that is from M to C. So we are going to move from M to A and then from A to C. Or from M to B, then from B to C. Now, in this case, we have the information that is from M to A and from A to C. That is the information we are going to use in this question. And the other thing you have to remember is that we have a ratio that is from A to M, we have 3, and from M to B, it's 1. And the ratio is 3 to 1. That is the information we are going to use. And the other thing I have to mention here is that when you are moving against the direction, your answer or your vector will have a negative so in this case, we are going to move from M to A, meaning it is going to be negative M A plus A C. Maybe the question would be why plus when we moved from, from M to C, we wrote, we wrote negative. Well, the reason is very simple. It's because here we are not moving against the, the direction. All right, meaning it will just be a positive. So in this case, our ratio is going to be 3 over the total number, which is 3 plus 1, we get 4. And the vector A, B, so we are going to write 3 over 4 vector A, B. So this is the one that we are going to have here, which is negative 3 over 4 vector A. And for A, C, the information we have, which is 2 vector B. Now that we have the data, we are just going now to substitute in the question, so it is going to be MC is equal to negative 3 over 4 vector A plus 2 vector 
B. So that is the, the first part of the question. The other part of the question said we should find B, C. So now for us to find B, C, we have to remember that we already have the information here for B, A. So we are going to, since we are moving against the direction, remember when you are moving against the direction, it is negative. So meaning it is going to be negative B, A plus A, C. So now that we have our vector, which is vector A, we are just going to substitute in B, A, which is going to be negative vector A plus vector B. And the last part of the question said we should do for us to prove that dx is equal to this here, we have first to find mx which appeared in the question. So we had mx is equal to hmc. And this one is very simple, or a very simple part of the question when you are proving because you, you are just getting the information which is already there. So in this case, you see we found, which is this information here. So what we are going to do is, we are just going to substitute. So we, we are going to write H open bracket, MC, this is the information. So we are going to write negative three over four, vector A plus C plus vector B, then close bracket. And then when you multiply, this is the information which you have. And now that we have found this now, it will help us now calculate or prove dx, all right? So now for us to calculate for dx, remember that when you have information like this one, you always start from the letter which is in front. So in this case, the letter which is in front is d, and then we have to go to x. So you come here. So now remember we, d is the midpoint, so we are going to move from d here. And when you are moving against the direction, it is negative. So it is going to be negative d a plus a m then plus m x. Here we have moved, we have not moved against the direction on a m and m x. And we are just going to get the information we already have. So our d a is a negative vector b. Plus our AM, this one here, it is going to be 3 over 4 vector A minus 3 over 4 H vector A plus H vector B. And from there now, what you are going to do is you are just going to group like terms together and then you factorize the question hence proved. Thank you very much for paying attention. Very soon we'll record another video. Remember to subscribe.